Angry ants never sleep and eat applesauce. Angry ants never sleep and eat applesauce. Angry ants never sleep. Quinn, what are you doing? It's how I remember the size of the continents. But why are you saying angry ants? Here's a trick that I learned. By the time that we're done with this video, this will all make sense to everyone. So make sure you watch till the end. Let's learn about continents! Earth is made up of seven continents. A continent is a massive area of land. Some are like gigantic islands completely surrounded by water. Others are connected to each other and separated by an imaginary line. Some continents have a lot of countries while others have much less. The first continent we will discuss in today's video is Asia. Asia is the largest continent in the world. It covers one third of Earth's surface. Asia is the most populated continent on Earth. In fact, half of the world population lives there. More than 4.4 billion people live in Asia. And the world's two most populated countries, China and India, are both a part of Asia. More languages are spoken in Asia than anywhere else. Over 2,300 languages. Asia also has some of the wealthiest nations in the entire world. There are 48 countries in Asia that are recognized by the United Nations. Asia is also the birthplace of many religions including Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, as well as many more. The Great Wall of China is located in Asia. It is over 5,500 miles long and can be seen from outer space. And Russia is the largest country in Asia by size, which is crazy because about 40% of Russia is also the part of the continent of Europe. China is the largest country by population. The Himalayas between Nepal and China are the world's highest mountains. They include Mount Everest, which is the highest peak at 8,849 meters, or 29,035 feet high. Now, let's move on to Africa. There are 54 countries in Africa, and nine territories. Around 1.1 billion people live in Africa, which is 15% of the world's total population, making it the world's second most populated continent. Africa also has the most amount of countries than any other continent. The world's hottest place is located in Africa. That is the country of Ethiopia. The world's longest river is located in Africa as well. It is the Nile River, which is 6,852 meters or 4,258 miles long. Wow. It is estimated that around 2,000 different languages are spoken in Africa. Africa is also known for having the largest land animal, the African elephant, as well as the tallest animal, the giraffe. Believe it or not, the deadliest animal in Africa is the hippopotamus. That's right. Hippos are said to be even more dangerous than lions and crocodiles. Next, we have North America. North America is the third biggest continent in size, but it is the fourth largest in population. North America has 23 different countries. North America is the only continent that has every kind of climate, from tropical warm climates all the way to freezing cold, polar climates. About 580 million people live in North America. The largest country in North America is Canada. Canada covers almost half of the entire area of North America. And English is the most widely spoken language 
in North America. Some other languages spoken are French as well as Spanish. North America is also considered one of the richest continents in the world. The United States is home to eight of the top 10 metropolitan areas in the world. They include New York City as well as Chicago. North America is surrounded by the world's biggest oceans, the Atlantic, the Arctic, and the Pacific Ocean. Next, we have South America. There are 12 countries in South America as well as three dependencies. More than 385 million people live in South America. South America is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on the east and Pacific Ocean on the west. The second largest river in the world, the famous Amazon River, runs through South America. It is surrounded by the world's biggest rainforest. We did a rainforest video. Check the link below. The largest country in South America is Brazil. Brazil covers more than half of South America's total land. And the top languages in South America are Spanish. But in Brazil, people speak Portuguese. Fifth on the list, we have the continent of Antarctica. According to size, Antarctica is the fifth biggest continent on our planet. It is almost double the size of Australia. Even though it's big, Antarctica is the smallest continent by population numbers. Antarctica is located at the South Pole and is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. Antarctica is covered almost completely with ice. In fact, 90% of the world's ice is found in Antarctica. This also makes up 60 to 70% of the world's fresh water supply. People don't permanently live in Antarctica, but several thousand people live and work there at research facilities. Antarctica is approximately 8,900,000 square miles during the summer, but during the winter months, it almost doubles in size because of the amount of sea ice that forms along its edges. Wow. It is estimated that ice can be as much as four kilometers thick, almost two and a half miles. If all of the ice on Antarctica was to melt, the sea levels would rise about 60 meters or 200 feet. The coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was in Antarctica. It was negative 89 degrees Celsius or negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's cold. Some animals do manage to survive in the cold and dry climate of Antarctica. These animals include penguins, seals, and the snow petrel, which is a bird. Antarctica has zero countries, and no portions of the continent are owned by any other country as well. Sixth on the list of continents, we have the continent of Europe. Europe is the second smallest country in size, but the third largest in population. The European continent has 50 countries, and of the European countries, 27 nations belong to the European Union, or the EU. The EU is a political and economic union. The current population of Europe is approximately 740 million people. That is about 12% of the world's total population. Europe borders onto the Arctic Ocean in the north, the Atlantic Ocean in the west, and the Mediterranean Sea in the south. The three largest countries are Russia, the Ukraine, and France. Russia covers more area than any other country in Europe. Europe has the two smallest countries in the world. They are Vatican City, which is located inside 
Rome, Italy, and Monaco, which is bordered on three sides by France. Most European languages are a part of either the Romance languages, which are French, Italian, and Spanish. They also have Germanic languages, such as German and English, as well as the Slavic languages, which some examples are Russian, Bulgarian, and Polish. And last but not least on our list, we have Australia. Australia is the smallest continent on the world. Australia has only one country, which is Australia itself. And all of Australia is located south of the equator, and this is why it is called the Land Down Under. Australia is also one of the world's most ethnically diverse nations. Almost a quarter of all the people that live in Australia were born in different countries, and 90% of all people live on the coast. Australia also contains so many different beaches because the entire continent is an island. And if you decided to visit one new beach in Australia every day, it would take a little over 27 years to see all of them. Australia's ecosystem is also an unusual one because of its remote location. And as a result, there are many animal species that live here and nowhere else in the world, such as the platypus, kangaroos, and koalas. In fact, 80% of Australia's animals can only be found living in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is a part of Australia. It is the largest ecosystem in the entire world. Remember that weird sentence from the beginning? Now does it make sense? Angry ants never sleep and eat applesauce. If it still doesn't make sense, watch this. Angry ants never sleep and eat applesauce. Each letter of each word represents the continents in size order. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and last but not least, Australia. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next